following the royal progress. Today's royal visit to the Isles of Scilly was arranged to celebrate the centenary of the island's council. The cold northeasterly winds didn't deter the prince as he took to the streets after a morning church service to attend a reception at the town hall. Medieval musicians provided the entertainment and champagne corks popped as Prince Charles unveiled a plaque commemorating the event. The prince was particularly impressed by a book charting the council's hundred-year history, which he praised for its manageability and thinness. The prince's visit can west visiting the Isles of Scilly and Devon. He flew into the island this morning to take part in the local council's centenary celebrations. Later, he travelled to Exeter to officially open the new regional headquarters of the National Farmers' Union. It was a rather windy St Mary's that greeted Prince Charles as he arrived on the Isles of Scilly to help celebrate the local council's centenary. But the cold weather didn't seem to bother him at all as he walked from a special church service to a town hall reception, chatting to crowds along the way. The prince is known to particularly enjoy his visits here and after he unveiled a memorial plaque, he praised the island's outlook and attitude and the very real values of life as lived on the islands. Later, the prince travelled to Exeter to officially open the new regional offices of the National Farmers' Union. There, he met local officials and unveiled with just a little struggle the building's name plaque, a three-foot granite block from his duchy estate quarry at Maryvale on Dartmoor.